Well, Noes, no hello again. Great to be joining you as we uh, again walk through Mark's Gospel in the lead up to Easter. Obviously, Good Friday tomorrow. What a privilege it is to have a time of the year that is set apart for us to think hard and remember just what Christ has done for us. We continue our journey through Mark's Gospel. So I'm going to read for us from Mark chapter 15. I'm going to start reading in verse 16. So. The soldiers led Jesus away into the palace, that is, the praetorium, and called together the whole company of soldiers. They put a purple robe on him, then twisted together a crown of thorns, and set it on him. They began to call out to him, Hail, King of the Jews! Again and again they struck him on the head with a staff, and spit on him. Falling on their knees, they paid homage to him. And when they had mocked him, they took off the purple robe and put his own clothes on him. And they led him out to crucify him. I don't know if you can think of a time where you've been really humiliated. Maybe you have to go back to uh, your schooling years where something that you did was on display in front of everyone and you were really embarrassed but someone was nasty in that someone was pointing out your faults or your failures i remember a time when i was in uh, uh, the office a previous job and uh, there was a guy who'd given me a project to do and he walked past my desk which was in an open office area and i had some other website up and he said uh, oh tim how's that project going and i started to say yeah it's going well and giving an update on where it was up to. And before I could get three words in, he cut me off and he said, if you want to surf the web, let me know and I'll give the job to someone else. And in front of everyone in the office, I felt humiliated, I felt scorned, I felt mocked. But I was somewhat complicit in that. Sure, he shouldn't have spoken to me like that, but I probably was on a website when I shouldn't have been. And here Jesus is beaten and mocked and scorned and spat on and he is absolutely entirely guiltless I read this passage I can't help but think of the uh, Hillsong song Man of Sorrows here's the opening to uh, stanzas Man of Sorrows Lamb of God by his own betrayed. The sin of man and wrath of God has been on Jesus laid. Silent as he stood accused, beaten, mocked and scorned, bowing to the Father's will, he took a crown of thorns. Oh, that rugged cross, my salvation, where your love poured out over me. Now my soul cries out, hallelujah, praise and honour unto thee. How we, we pray to our great God who sent his son to die in our place and on our behalf. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. For Lord, when we look at the cross, we are reminded of just how painful an experience this was for Jesus, how unjust an experience it was for him, how necessary an experience it was for him in order for us to be saved. And Father, we are shocked when we see the way that our King is humiliated, but we're so relieved to know that his humiliation meant that we could be saved that we might find life, that we might find hope in a dark world. Lord, be with us this Easter. Show us the beauty of the cross in a new way. And may we follow you, knowing that it's a path that sometimes takes us to the cross. As we deny ourselves, take up our cross and follow you. 
We pray all of that in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, thanks for joining us in these devotions through Mark. We're going to have a break for these over the next week, but have a blessed Easter. Tune into the live stream tomorrow and on Sunday, and we'll see you again after that.